Welcome to a special Christmas edition of Local Search Tuesdays. My Halloween movie episode was a huge hit, and I had so many requests to do another movie episode, I figured this was a great week to take a break from digital marketing tips and talk about movies again. Plus, hey, it's my series and I can do what I want. So this week I'm sharing my top 10 list of Christmas movies. Actually, it's probably going to be a quick episode because here's my list of the top 10 Christmas movies. Okay, I'm kidding. Or am I? Most of the movies on this list are Christmas classics that nearly everyone has seen. So unlike my Halloween list, I won't need to explain the plot for most of these. So instead, I'm going to share a fun bit of trivia for each one. Let's start with number 10, Edward Scissorhands. Ready to freak out a little? This one was released 30 years ago. I don't really have to explain the plot because, come on, everybody's seen it, and it's a staple costume for all the emo cosplay kids. Fun fact, the waterbed scene wasn't in the original script. Tim Burton asked the writer to change the bed to a waterbed because he thought it would be much funnier. And number nine, Krampus. It's always shocking to me that more people haven't seen this one. It's ridiculously fun, and the design of the demon toys is top-notch. It was directed by Michael Doherty, who wrote and directed Trick or Treat, the number two best horror movie on my Halloween list. It came out back in 2015, so it's the most recent release on the list. And it tells the story of a kid who turns his back on Christmas and accidentally unleashes Krampus and his demon toys who end up killing everyone. Fun fact, the material they used for snow is the same stuff they put in baby diapers to absorb liquids. Number eight, The Nightmare Before Christmas. Released back in 93 and the second Tim Burton movie on this list. Now, most people think he directed it, but he just produced it. Killer animation, awesome songs, and a still-powering Disney merch machine. Fun fact, Danny Elfman wrote all the songs before the script was even written. Number seven, Gremlins, released in 1984, and another one I really don't have to explain because everyone's seen it. So instead, here's a picture I got with the star, Zach Galligan, back in 2015. Fun fact, Frank Welker, the actor who did Striped Voice, was also the voice of Megatron in the Transformers cartoons. And another fun fact, the set they used for the town was the same set they used for Hill Valley in Back to the Future. Number six, Home Alone. Come on. Who doesn't love The Wet Bandits? And it's time for another freakout. This one was released 30 years ago also. This one's pretty much on every Christmas movie list, and for good reason. Fun fact, the gangster movie Angels with Filthy Souls that Kevin watches and quotes isn't a real movie. They filmed the scenes specifically for Home Alone. Number five, Scrooged. It's no surprise to anyone that I'm a huge Bill Murray fan. Released in 1988, it's one of Richard Donner's classics, and it's flat out awesome. And it's still hilarious today. It's crazy to me, but tons of people haven't seen this one. So go check it out if you haven't. It's amazing. Fun fact, Carol Kane, the actress who played the Ghost of Christmas Present, grabbed Bill Murray's lip so hard that it ripped away from the inside of his mouth and production had to be halted for a few days to allow him to heal. Number four, Christmas Vacation. Released in 1989, it's still going strong over 30 years later. It's the third installment in the Vacation series, and it wasn't well-received when it was released, but it's now considered to be one of the staple Christmas classics. And the fun fact for this one, Rusty Griswold was played by a young Johnny Galecki of Big Bang Theory fame. Number three, A Christmas Story. The earliest release on the list, it came out back in 1983, I looked almost exactly like Ralphie when the movie came out. Peter Billingsley was 12, and I was 11. My mom even gives me a Christmas story-related gift every Christmas. And I've got a tattoo of Ralphie on my arm. Obviously, I'm a big fan. Fun fact, for the scene where Ralphie imagines he's the sheriff, the prop master gave him actual chewing tobacco. He was 12. Number two, Elf. Released in 2003, it's now one of the most loved Christmas movies of all time, and for good reason, it's stinking awesome. We love it so much at my house that we watch it year-round, and at least once a week every December. We've even got a buddy blow-up in our front yard. 
Fun fact, Ming the Elf, who supervises Buddy at Santa's workshop, is played by Peter Billingsley, who played Ralphie in A Christmas Story. Also, do yourself a favor and go find the deleted scene where Buddy plays hockey with the elves. It's awesome. And the number one Christmas movie of all time, Die Hard. Come on, are you really surprised here? And yes, I'm settling the debate once and for all. Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Not only that, it's one of the greatest movies ever made. I've got a tattoo of Die Hard as well. This actually won an award at a Texas tattoo convention. Shout out to Chase Nash, my amazing tattoo artist. Fun fact, so much glass was broken during filming that the glass budget alone was over $130,000. Bonus fun fact, the signature yippee Kaye mother effer line was actually an ad-libbed joke. Bruce Willis was just trying to make the crew laugh and he never thought it would be allowed to stay in the film. So that's it for my list of the top 10 Christmas movies. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode and I hope you have a safe and happy holiday season. But now, it's that time. Put your hand on the screen right here. We totally just high-fived, because you learned something awesome. Don't forget to check back next week, when I'll be sharing this year's most popular episodes of this series. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again next week for the final episode of 2020 of Local Search Tuesdays.